Hey guys, Travis with Everglades. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about this Alamo Trax RC28. All right, so most of y'all know that we are an Alamo dealer and obviously we have the big John Deere tractors with the Alamo booms and all that fun stuff. But what you may not know is, that, is we're also a dealer for this line of Alamo products. So this is obviously the Alamo Trax RC28. So it's just like what it looks like. It's a remote control mower. So who would use this? Well, a lot of municipalities, government entities, things like that are gonna use it because you can mow, like you know like those big slopes on the side of overpasses and things like that? Well, here you go, this is one way to mow it. So you don't have to put an operator in risk of you know, a tractor rolling over or having it on a very steep slope, <clears throat> you can just use this remote control mower. And obviously it's got the track, so it's got great traction to go up steeper slopes, back down safely, and you're not putting a guy in harm's way. And the other big benefit is you look really cool whenever you're operating it too, as you can see. All right, so let's talk about some of the features and fit and finish of this machine, right? So obviously you can see it's a very low profile, compact design here. It's on track, so you're gonna get great traction and flotation with low ground pressure. It's a gasoline motor that powers it, so it's very easy to run, maintain, and operate while still keeping the cost down. So what we got here, it's a 28 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Vanguard engine, right? So the whole machine weighs 1,058 pounds, and it's 59 inches by 59 inches in dimensions. So you've got a relatively small footprint here and you can work on slopes up to 55 degrees. What you got here is you got a cutting width of 43 inches and the blade tips will reach up to 205 miles an hour. The cutting height can range anywhere from 1.2 inches to 7.1 inches. You've also got a 492 foot operating range on the remote. You also have two removable 2.6 gallon fuel tanks and you've got a fuel injected engine so it'll last for a while on a tank of fuel and the nice thing about it being fuel injected is you don't have to necessarily worry about the machine tilting too much and it's starving for fuel because it's fuel injected in the taller grass you need to kind of watch your track speed a little bit you need to meter the stick just a little bit to give it time to chew up that material because bear in mind this machine's strengths is being able to mow on a slope and still be in the price point that it needs to be to be attractive. So you need to just meter your speed a little bit, especially in thicker grass, like you can see this grass here, we were able to handle it relatively easier. We did find some taller grass that you needed to slow down a little bit in order to not bog down the machine and maintain a nice smooth cut. So as far as the maneuverability of this machine, it's a very, it has a very tight turning radius, obviously because it's a track machine. But one thing to keep in mind, just like any tracked vehicle, is you don't necessarily want to just counter rotate it, just spin it in a circle, just, just for giggles, because you're going to wear your tracks a little bit faster if you do that. And also you're going to run the risk of throwing a track. With any track system, if you just counter rotate it, you really don't want to do that unless you absolutely have to. It's better to take longer turns with it, take your time, get a nice broad sweep, unless, I'm not saying you can't do it, but it's just not your best practice to just sit here and counter rotate with it just because more than anything else it's just going to wear your tracks faster than you would normally and obviously you do want to keep your operating costs down your cost of ownership and in other words the cost to do your whole project as low as possible and one way to do that is prolonging the life of your wear parts by controlling your tracks and that's that goes back to training your operators on proper operation and safety which by the way at Everglades we can come out and train your operators on proper operation and safety as well. There's a nice feature of this remote where you've got a dial where you can adjust your track speed so what you can do with your thumb is you can have it all the way forward but you're only going whatever percent that you have your dial on here which is very it allows you to maintain that slower controlled speed and still get a good cut, but it's easier on your thumb because you don't have to meter your thumb as much. You can just have your thumb resting all the way forward and just keep mowing. So it's a really well thought out design for the controls. Uh, you've also got an emergency stop button here, easily accessible. So if you get into a bad spot, boom, there you go. And you can reassess the situation, get the machine into a safe position again, out of that situation and back to work. So after spending a little bit of time running this thing, I, I can tell you that it takes a little bit to get the hang of it, but it's really intuitive after a little bit. It's very similar to other remote control pieces of equipment you've ever run. Like I know there's remote control skid steers out there, which we now offer by the way, 
Uh, it's very similar to that. I could definitely see how somebody that needs to mow a slope, things like that. And the nice thing is, is that for price, let's say if you have like a slope that's, you know, just one or two little slopes here and there, and you don't necessarily want to spend the money on a dedicated boom tractor, well, these one of these things would be great for you. Or let's say like, uh, I've got one of these things out to a police department that they've got like a berm and they only need to mow that berm, but they don't need to, you know, invest in a boom tractor just for that one area. Well, one of these things is great for that. And you might have an application where you're at as well. And you're like, hey man, if we had one of these things, we could do that one spot, we could do this. And the nice thing too, is that you keep, you remove the operator from harm's way. Hey, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Hey, so what'd you think? Meet us in the comments down there and let you know if you think you could use one of these things for your project.